So is your sieve shaker or just hand sieving technique not cutting it for your operation? Are your particles becoming too agglomerated to get accurate particle size results? Well, the Alpine Air Jet Sieve E200LS might just be your solution. So stick around. Hi, my name's Candice and I'm the product manager for particle size analysis here at WS Tyler. There's a lot of different materials and parameters for particle size analysis and sometimes a Rotap just isn't able to do the job. That's where the Alpine Airjet Civ E200LS comes in. It's designed to test different materials with different parameters with varying requirements for testing. WS Tyler stands as a strong particle analysis leader with over 110 years experience working with devices like sieve shakers and Airjet sieves and dynamic image analysis systems. To share the experiences we and our customers have had with the Alpine, we'll go over what an Alpine Airjet Civ E200LS is, how much it costs, the device specifications, how the device works, the pros surrounding the Alpine Airjet Civ E200LS, and the cons surrounding the machine. The Alpine Airjet Civ E200LS is a particle size analysis instrument that, much like traditional sieve shakers, uses test sieves to separate particles to identify their size. What makes this Alpine unique is that it uses a stream of projected air to help the individual particles find the openings in the sieve cloth. This air jet allows the Alpine to excel, especially when testing fine particles. And because of that, this device can be found in most industry standards as a reliable ancillary testing device. The E200LS utilizes specialized software to operate. There's four levels of software to choose from, with each new level offering more features than the last. But having said that, the level of software you choose will change the cost of the Alpine unit. The light software is $9,000. The basic software version is $11,000. The ultimate software is $14,000. And the security software is $19,000. And I should note, any test sieves you may need will affect the cost of your Alpine. With this device in particular, you can choose from standard AirJet test sieves or special RFID test sieves that communicate directly with your software level. The RFID test sieves will have an increased cost. Now, how your Alpine unit utilizes the technology behind the device is again dependent on the software that you use. That said, using its glare-free touchscreen control panel, you can control all parameters of your testing process. Additionally, the device can be connected to various external devices, like printers and scales, to further automate your testing process. To do so, you can use an Ethernet, an RS-232, or a USB 2.0 up to 3 cable. The Alpine utilizes a vacuum system to create a jet of air that's projected out of a rotating slotted nozzle. This nozzle rotates along the bottom of each test sieve, making the particles slam against the plexiglass lid and bounce back onto the mesh to pass through. This works to help break down agglomerated material and facilitate particle movement through the sieve. But with that being said, each sieve must be placed and taken off manually during the testing process. Now, based on the amount of sample material that you have or that you're testing, you'll use one of two testing methods, traditional or Swiss. With the traditional method, the process goes like this. Insert the finest sieve into your Alpine device. Evenly distribute your sample material onto the sieve in its entirety. Secure the plexiglass lid and press play on the control panel to initiate the test cycle. Once the cycle is complete, weigh and record the retained material. Remove the sieve and insert the next in your series, transferring the retained sample. Repeat this process until each sieve in the sieve stack has been used in order. With the Swiss method, the process goes as follows. Evenly distribute your sample material so each sieve in the sieve stack has an equal amount of material on it. Insert the finest sieve with sample material on it into your Alpine device. Secure the plexiglass lid and press play on the control panel to initiate the test cycle. Once the cycle is complete, weigh and record the retained material. Discard the material once you've recorded that weight. Repeat this process until each sieve in the sieve stack has been used in order. And like I said, a scale can be attached to the device to help make weighing the retained material even easier. When a scale is attached, you can store the retained weight digitally on the device. One of the most noteworthy benefits of using an AirJet sieve is its user administrative functions. This allows user profiles to be created and tracked within the software. To go alongside this, the device can also store and retrieve previous testing results. This means that you can analyze how a particular material was tested in an earlier time. 
Now both of these functions can be imperative if your operation is ever audited. With these functions, a comprehensive audit trail can be generated and presented. Additionally, the Alpine holds the ability to store standard operation procedures to help manage testing. These procedures essentially guide the user through the process and work to prevent the wrong sieve from being placed into the device. And to that end, SOPs work best when RFID sieves are used. Possibly the biggest downfall the Alpine has is in regards to if you use a traditional or an RFID sieve. The process is fairly hands-on. The fact that you must physically swap out each sieve in the sieve stack makes testing take longer than if a sieve shaker or dynamic image analysis system is used. This also increases the chances of human error, especially if SOPs and RFID sieves are not implemented in your process. Additionally, because the Alpine relies on an industrial-grade vacuum to generate its iconic air jet, it can prove to be loud during operation. To provide some perspective, the noise level of the device is much louder than dynamic image analysis systems, but quieter than a mechanical sieve shaker. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific requests. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Candace, and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.